Hey everyone, so I wanted to make another video for you all to show you what I was wearing for the Marine Ball because I know I mentioned in my last video what my dress looked like and what I was wearing but I actually wanted to show you because I have my dress so yeah, I also wanted to give um, two other suggestions as well for dresses that are on the shorter side if you feel like wearing a shorter dress um, as well so let's get into the video I'm going to be standing so half my head will be cut off um, but that's okay with me. I don't mind. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is my dress. Like I said, it's navy blue. Hold on. I need to fix this. Okay, so it's navy blue, and like I said, it's sheer up at the top, but it has the beading. It is really nice. It's not too crazy of beading. It looks really nice on, and it covers up the ladies, so they're not falling out. And it's just really nice. I love it. I love the thick shoulders on it. It really is so pretty. And I absolutely love the color and the material on it. It's chiffon. So it kind of has that flowy aspect to it. Which is really nice. Um, I'll back up so you guys can see the whole dress. So it's really pretty. I adore this dress. It is so nice. And... I'm very happy that I got it. This is the back side of it. Again, it's sheer, so um, you're not going to be seeing the jewels through it, but, well, it's on, but yeah. So it's really nice. It's really nice material. This is the back of it. And I just absolutely adore this dress. I absolutely love the top of it. It's just so pretty, and I love the beading. And, um... Jewelry for this, I do have, hold on, I have this bracelet that I might wear with it. Here, can I show this? This bracelet that I might wear with it, but I might not. Because um, I don't think it really needs much jewelry to it, just because of the detailing and the beading on it. I think it's really pretty, but... Yeah, so this is what my dress looks like, and I will show you the other two options that I think would be a good alternative if you don't end up buying, or if you don't have a dress like this, because you don't need this exact dress or anything, but if you don't have this style. So, a different style that I have is this dress. Um, oh, by the way, I got my my dress from Macy's, from Macy's, sorry, I'm realizing you can't see me, um, because <laughs> my head's cut off, so I have to bend down, <laughs> anyways, this is the other dress that I have, and it has really pretty beading on the top of it, it's, um, what is this, pearl beading, sorry, I forgot what I was talking about, and this is like an off-white color, and it's a short dress, but it's not short where if I bend over my butt's going to be hanging out. It's short where it's just right above my knee. So this is the back of it. And it has like flowing material again like my um, the dress that I'll be wearing has flowing material on it. And then it kind of cinches, not cinches, but it form fits towards the bottom. And my shoulder is falling off. Um, this is the back of it. I really love dresses that have like the open back to them. I think they just look really nice on. And this also has a strap so it covers up your bra if you're um, if you're wearing a strap bra. So that's that option. And then the last option I have is very not formal. Um, it is formal. You could dress it up. But this is from Forever 21. You're not going to be able to. Maybe you will. Can you see like the stitching on it? Yeah, the stitching on it goes pretty much all the way to the bottom, but it's a really pretty, pretty dress, and you can really dress this up with jewelry and with your shoes that you wear, and maybe a cardigan if you wear over it. You really don't need a cardigan with this, unless it's cold, um, then might, you might want to put a cardigan on it, but it has thick shoulders, shoulder straps, sorry, <laughs> so you really don't need to put a cardigan on, but if you did, you could get like a really pretty like navy blue cardigan to go with this. So I think it's really cute. Just another alternative. And this dress too goes just right above my knee. 
And for shoes, this is the shoes that, these are the shoes that I'll probably end up wearing with my dress. And these I just had from a formal that I had before, so they're a little worn um, and destroyed. This shoe, the bottom of it falls off. So I need to hot glue this or find something to hot glue this with. But if I don't end up wearing these, I'll probably just end up wearing these black shoes. Um, you're not going to be able to see the shoes with my dress because of how long it is. So as long as the shoes are high enough where my dress isn't dragging, I really don't care what shoes I'm wearing. And yeah, so that is everything that I had to show you. And whoa, my chair. <laughs> That's everything I had to show you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it gave you a little idea on what could be appropriate, what should be appropriate, or what dresses you should be looking for when you go looking, and I hope for everyone that has already attended the Marine Ball that they had a really nice time, and for those that are going to be attending, I really hope that you have an awesome time, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye!